Welcome to Holly EFI Training Part 36. In this video, we're going to learn how to work with our staging feature in our Holly V5 software. Now, our staging feature is going to allow us to control a trans break, allowing us to either have a bump box effect or a creep effect, where we're going to be controlling how the car is going to be pulled into the beams at the drag strip. The bump box is going to be a little more harsh. The creep is going to give us a lot more progressive, smooth way to control the vehicle into our staging beam. We want to get this right so we don't deep stage or red light at the line. So without further wait, let's jump in to learn how to program and work with our staging features using our Holly V5 software. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our staging feature using our Holly V5 software. Now, this is going to allow us to emulate a bump box or a creep feature on an automatic transmission with a trans brake control. It's going to allow us to bring our vehicle into the staging beams. We need to make sure we get this right. If we're going to be too aggressive or too violent as we're bringing the car into the beams, we could deep stage or we could red light, which we want to avoid. So we need to make sure we get this right. It's actually really simple to set this up and configure whether you're trying to emulate that bump box feature or the creep feature. I'm going to show you how to accomplish that here. So first things we're going to do is jump into our system ICF here at the top. We're going to move down under system parameters into our basic IO. Now within here, we're going to move into our staging area of the software. We have our staging enable switch. that's going to be turning off this feature or turning on the feature. Let's turn it on. Now we're going to find we have some things to program. We have output type. We're going to be talking about our two different output types and the time interval here. We'll talk about the programming of our details, but let's talk about the wiring and configuration first. This is important to make sure this feature is going to be set up properly. So if we jump into input outputs, we're going to find we have our staging input number one, staging input number two, also our staging output. So in our staging input number one, we're going to be tying this to the trans brake switch on our shift lever. So we want to, when we want to engage that trans brake, we're going to go here to the input type. You need to make sure you set this to the type of switch that you have set up on your trans brake, so either a 12 volt or ground. That's going to really depend on what you're working with. Let's assume we have a ground switch. Um, we have to go into our pin map here and assign that under our inputs. Go into inputs here. We have our staging input number one. So we'll have to drag and drop into the pin location that we want to wire our trans brake switch into. So we'll have to drag and drop. Let's go here to just pin A13. It's fine. Now we also have a second staging input that we have to satisfy. This is going to be uh, overriding and essentially turning on or off our staging output to control the trans brake. This will either simulate a bump box feature. So if you have a bump box switch on your shifter lever or a creep feature. So we're going to have to have a switch that's going to be when we press it, it's going to allow us to creep forward in a smooth and controlled fashion. So we need to go and set this up per that switch type that we're working with. I'm going to assume that the other switch I have is also going to be a ground. So I'm going to be going here in my unassigned inputs, dragging and dropping this ground into another available input here. So let's go drag and drop into pin A4. So I would have wired our bump box or creep switch into my holly. So now I have my two switches satisfied. So the switch, the staging input number one switch, that's going to be the master on off for this feature to work. So if we let go of the trans brake uh, button, the whole staging feature will go off. It doesn't matter what our button number two here, or input number two is doing. Staging number one is the ultimate master override for this feature to work. So this always has to be depressed. And then the staging input number two will be then using that to bump ourselves in or creep ourselves into the beam. Now, we also have a staging output. This is what's going to go to the actual trans brake solenoid to control some things. So let's just click, we'll move this out of the way here. So what we find here in the staging output, we see it's not defined. We see the output type here. It's going to be a pulse with modulated output. So whether we're going to be controlling it in a PWM plus or PWM minus, it's going to depend on the solenoid that we're trying to work with. Now, I'm going to recommend that you always run the Holly solid state relay. It's a high, high current relay. Whether you want to run a duty cycle style output or pulse with modulated output or a simple on off control, if you run this part number 15620NOS, that's our high current solid state relay, you're able to. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.